Salvation is available for all who call. For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. That's Romans 10, 6, 13. Every person can be saved and have eternal life in heaven. You don't have to go to a devil's hell. Hello, everyone. The purpose of this video is to ask you a question, a very important question, probably the most important question that you will ever be asked. And that's this. If you were to close your eyes today for the very last time, do you know for sure beyond any shadow of a doubt that you would spend eternity in heaven? If not, then you must keep watching this video. For what shall it profit a man if he gains the whole world and loses his own soul? Or what shall a man give in exchange for his soul? That's Mark 8, 36 and 37. The Bible says that we have all sinned and come short of the glory of God. That's Romans 3, 23. The only thing that's going to matter when it's all said and done and you leave this planet is where are you going to spend eternity? You see, no matter how good you are or what good you've done, or no matter how bad you are or what bad you've done, we all need a savior. We've all committed sin. We've all fallen short and we all need a savior and we all can be saved. The worst sinner can receive salvation. The question you may ask is, can I receive salvation by any other name or way on earth? And the answer is absolutely no. Neither is there salvation in any other, for there is none other name under heaven given among men whereby we must be saved. That's Acts 4.12. We were all born separated from God spiritually because of Adam's sin in the garden. It is a spiritual condition that nothing can fix except the blood of Jesus Christ. Jesus pay, paid the price for every single human being on the face of the planet that ever was, is, or shall be. Salvation is from God through Jesus Christ and there is no other way. Jesus paid the price for sin and died for you and for me and for the whole world, even for those that haven't been born again. The glory of God is where you have fellowship with God, where you have a relationship with him. Jesus came to restore that. God wants you to be saved and he wants you to be saved now. Today is the day of salvation. That's 2 Corinthians 6, 2. It doesn't matter what you've done or where you've been. Paul was a murderer and responsible for taking the lives of many Christians. And yet God touched him and used him to bring many to salvation through the gospel of Jesus Christ and use him to write three quarters of the New Testament. Can God use you? Yeah, absolutely. He can use you and your life can have an eternal impact and make a difference. There was a woman in the Bible that was caught in the very act of adultery. The religious leaders at that time brought her to Jesus because under the Levitical law, she would have been stoned for that. And they said to her, this woman was caught in adultery. And they asked him, what did he think? Jesus responded, um, he that is without sin throw the first stone one by one they dropped their stones and walked away because they were all convicted of their conscience and they all had sin jesus was the only one left standing he could have condemned her because he was without sin but this is what he said he said where are your accusers neither do i accuse you and he let her go. He was the only one without sin and could have condemned her, but he didn't. In a moment, we're going to say a prayer to receive salvation. Believe in your heart. Believe that Jesus died for you and rose from the, the dead. Call upon his name and you shall be saved. It's a free gift. There's nothing you can do to earn it or pay for it or buy it. I'm going to show you that you are whosoever. And that this is for you right here, right now. Jesus is the only way to salvation to everyone that believes and confesses him as with their mouth, as Lord. For with the heart man believeth unto righteousness, and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. That's Romans 10.10. 10. Jesus comes when you believe on the Lord Jesus. Salvation comes when you believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and confess him. 
You can't save yourself. You must call on the name of the Lord. The kingdom of God is at hand, which means salvation is near and available to you right now. Jesus right now will give you a second chance, a third, a fourth, a fifth, a tenth, a hundredth, because he will never leave you nor forsake you. His will is that none should perish. He has given me many chances. He's gotten me out of many messes, even the ones I created myself. Ezekiel 36, 25 says that he will take away the stony heart and give us a new heart, a new spirit will I put in them. This is the covenant that I will make with them after those days, saith the Lord. I will put my laws into their hearts and in their minds will I write them. That's Hebrews 10, 16. Well, you may think, well, I'll do this another time. I'm not ready yet. Um, there's some things I need to do first. I need to clean up some stuff. I, you know, I'm not living right. Whatever the excuse may be. I want you to know that procrastination is a decision and it is a decision from hell. No one can come to the Lord cleaned up or based on their own good works. Jesus is the only one that can do that. Come to him right now just as you are. Once you receive Jesus and you become born again, which literally means you are a brand new person with no past. Tomorrow is no guarantee to anyone. You could breathe out your last breath tonight today and where would you spend eternity you have to make a decision and when you are hearing the word of god being preached to you and it's entering into your ears that's that's when a decision is made procrastination is the wrong decision we are going to pray together open your heart to receive salvation from jesus today second corinthians five seventeen says anyone who is in christ is a new creature old things have passed away Behold, all things have become new. I'm going to pray for three categories of people. First, you have never received Jesus Christ as your old, your old Lord and Savior. Never confessed him openly or out of your mouth. Romans 10, 9 says, if, they, if you confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus and believe in your heart that God has raised him from the dead, you will be saved. Second, at one point you did confess him but fell away through sin or something happened just life happened you went through some difficult hard circumstances and situations a bankruptcy divorce loss of a loved one loss of a job something happened that caused you to harden your heart towards god and fall away deuteronomy 31 6 says he goes with you and for you he will never leave you nor forsake you sake you thirdly you just don't know for sure that you're saved that you're going to heaven and you want to know for sure Romans 8.16 says the spirit itself beareth witness with our spirit that we are children of, children of God. God's presence is here right now. His power is available to save you and set you free. We're going to call on the name of the Lord right now. I want you to close your eyes, bow your head, and lift your hand to heaven because that's where your help comes from. Say this after me from your heart with your lips out loud. Dear Lord Jesus, come into my heart. Forgive me of my sins. Wash me and cleanse me. Set me free. Let me never be the same again. Fill me with your Holy Spirit. Give me a passion for the lost, a hunger for the things of God, and a holy boldness to preach the gospel of Jesus Christ. Today I make you my Lord and Savior. I'm saved. I'm born again. I'm forgiven. And I'm on my way to heaven because I have Jesus in my heart. Amen. If you said that prayer according to the word of God, you are saved, you are born again, and you are on your way to heaven. If you said that prayer today, I want you to like this video and share it to everyone you come in contact with. Together we can make a difference. We can get people saved and have an eternal reward in heaven. And that's all that's going to matter. Love you guys. Have a great day. God bless.